Hey everyone, it's Anna with Jonestead Farm. I'm getting ready for the 2024 gardening season. I am in Central Kentucky, which our growing zone is 6B. We haven't quite reached our last frost date yet, which is in mid about mid-May. We usually go by Derby Day or Mother's Day before we put anything that could be frost tender above ground. Due to some things that are going on in our life right now, it's, it's a handful of things, I knew I was going to have to scale the 2024 garden back pretty good. Um, and that meant I was going to have to use the seeds and whatever else that I already had for the garden this year. That meant no candy onions. Well, on Tuesday night, me and my husband, we went up to our local extension office for a free gardening class. At the end of the class, they gave out a little bag with some goodies in it. And let me tell you, I got two bundles of candy onions candy onion sets that is a god wink y'all we also got some seed potatoes these are Yukon gold I am going to cut these down a little more I'm letting them sit out so that they'll get some more eyes on them and then I can cut more and get more potatoes to put in the ground I got the chicken mafia waiting outside my door y'all Ma'am, what are you doing? What are you doing? You just want a treat, don't you? So I come up here to the garden so I can start planting my onions. And I've got my got my little feathered crew here following me up here. Oh, now we've got Frank. Hi, Frank. So we've got kitty cats and chickens. So I went and got Lenny, brought him up here. I just wasn't comfortable working. We've got too many hawks flying around. This is all open area. So I brought him out here to help with keeping an eye on the ladies while I was working here in the garden. So I have gone through here with my trusty hoe. And because we don't have our big tractor with the tiller, Frank is playing in the dirt, of course, as soon as I get it mounted up. But because we don't have our big tractor with the big tiller and our small tiller, he can't get it started. It's really old, belonged to my dad, but I don't want these um, onion sets to go bad. So I just came out here with my hoe and I dug up the ground. We have clay soil. You can tell that it's clumped. Frank is having a ball. But it is clumpy. But I've got a bag of potting soil over here. So every time that I place an onion set, I'm going to put it down into a cup of the potting mix. This is my little compost bin. And we're only going to go to the compost bin this year. So we're only going to use half of the garden space, let the other side rest. Alrighty, candy onion sets. They have the little bulbs on them. And for my area, 6B, these can be planted between March and May. We are coming up on the very end of March, so I can get these out. They are to be placed about four inches apart, two inches deep. And these look really nice. I've got the little onion sets in the ground now. They shouldn't go very deep. I got 33 in the ground out of that bundle and I still have like half of that bundle left. I rounded these because the soil is really clay and it can get hard. So I'm gonna put some of that potting mix over with it next and see how this does. I'm gonna try a couple different ways and see how it works with uh, um, getting the soil amended 
and see if I know you can add a little bit of sand to your clay soil and that does help um, but I'm going to try with some potting mix on the next row and mix it into the soil really good when I put the sets in and see how that works. First I want to say I'm by no means a professional. I'm not a master gardener. I have not taken classes. I haven't done anything like that. All I have ever done is gone by what my grandmother and my mother, how they gardened. And sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. I experiment. Um, my body, uh, I was crushed from the waist down in a car accident years ago, so I have to do things a little bit differently. Sometimes that means taking shortcuts for me. Um, but the end result is that you're getting yield from your vegetable plants. And sometimes that may mean that your garden is a, a little bit weedy. Sometimes that means you're not doing things exactly by the book, by the way the books tell you. Um, it's whatever works for you. I don't feel that you're making a huge mistake if you try something new that may work for you. It's always worth giving something a try, as long as you know the basics. So for the basics for these onions, they are sets, they are not seed. I do like planting the sets a little bit better than I do the seed. Sometimes it's hard to get that uh, germination of the seed going early enough. I just don't have the setup for that. And it is very tolerant to our weather here in Central Kentucky, 6B. That's another reason that I like to grow these. And I have taken some potting soil and put in with each of these because of our clay soil. Last year, I did not mound my soil when I did my onions. All we did was come in here and till with the big tiller. And yes, using our big tiller, it does make our ground, it makes the soil just really fine like sand. But once it rains on it, it can make it hard and it can be difficult to get root vegetables up out of the ground. So this year, what I tried to do was I came up here and I chopped up this soil and I mounded it and I came in with some potting soil. It's just a, it was one of the cheaper brands. And I put a little in, as you can see, the dark color as I put in each one of these onions. Now in about two or three weeks, I will need to come back and amend these onions because I do know that this soil needs some nutrients. But there we go. Got part of my onion sets in. First thing that's gone into the garden for this year. It's still really weedy. Still got to get this up over here. But we are on the go. It is a green light for gardening season 2024 here on the Jonestead. I uh, thank you guys for joining me.